And that's why you don't skip a leg day. So one very unfortunate thing I've noticed in this game is that, uh, here, let's just shoot this guy that's asleep. Won't feel a thing. I said you won't... Uh, okay. Thank you. Right, now you see that rabbit right there? You see those, those rabbits up there? They're kind of doing their own thing, nice and slow. At 13 frames a second. If I turn my foliage quality all the way down, right here. Little bastards disappear. Get my foliage quality all the way back up. Oh, there a second ago. Anyway, there's some combination of render distance and foliage quality that makes it so things just sort of phase in and out of existence. Okay, there's one right there. You see in the corner? There's some quality here. What did I have turned down? Must have been view distance. Yeah, because for the longest time, See, and it just disappears again. Find the carcass to harvest it. Sure. Where's the carcass? Spent two days looking for rabbits in this damn server. Server. <laughs> single player. Couldn't find a single one, and now suddenly it's rabbit central. So I messed around with my uh, settings. How did you get all the way over here, buddy? been a bit of a nightmare. Thankfully, I don't have to hunt rabbits pretty much ever again, I think. And the reason I'm out killing all these creatures back here... Hi! Run away, please. Okay, go away. Is in order to research things like butchery, you need... Pretty sure it's three hair... Three elk and a buffalo. And my base is just absolutely besieged by elk. If I come up here, let's make this game slightly easier to play. Uh, foliage quality. All the way down. It's that one there. There's usually one or two over there. There's one up there. Is there one over here this time? Anyway, I think they're plotting against me. But you need all of these things. That, that, and that. Will get me my butchery table. Well, my butchery research book. Where'd that deer go? And I know I've killed deer. I've killed multiple deer. Yeah, I've went on a just went out and murdered stuff. Just abs murder spree. Get my uh, get my hunting up. Also committed a whole bunch of tree murder because I got to build a building here. So I go to whack. Should you give me those. And in order to get all these other funky skills, which I've gone and sunk a few in by the way while uh, I was off screen, we've done a Topped out, yeah, gathering tops out really fast. Like, okay, so you get, uh, doubles the yield, and your scythe use less than calories. And I think this was, yeah, every so often you'll get the, I'm pointing at the screen, so this doesn't help you at all, I understand. To cooking, there we are. So I get a talent choice of either focused workflow or parallel processing. So this is if you have one table in the building, and so you have multiple tables in the building. And just is this crafting speed? 
Leave it alone. It's a campfire. So I'm not, I'm not going to use a campfire for a whole long, for a very long time. Oh, those don't use up stars, by the way. Uh, hunting. Coming up there, I just got doubles headshot multiplier. So if I go, you know, let's put you away here for a minute. Let's commit a little more on-screen murder. If I come over here. Nope, not done rendering up apparently. There's the other one. Trying to figure out the parabola here. I know you. I can see you up there. I can see you. You're right there. Dang. Okay, I have about uh, four hit points. And where did you go? There you are. Be dead in my inventory. It's great if you can kind of sneak up on things and shoot them in the head. Uh, most of your small stuff is all one hit anyway. Pow. You can run away. Just they're just everywhere, like just <sighs> place is infested with elk. What was it? Oh yeah, I gotta build a research thingy. Now all of these buildings require nope, oh, that one. All the research tables well back up here. All of the tables that you want to use to craft things in require a building. With the exception of the campfire. I'm not sure if the bloomery still needs one. I don't think it does. Okay, tree, you need to go away. Anyway, most of them do. Despite the fact some of them are things that you would never you would never confine to a room. But they require you to have a room of a certain level of materials, which is kind of their way of uh, forcing you to do things. Right? Instead of just, yeah, I could sprawl a base out all over this place with crafting tables. Kind of like in modded Minecraft, where you've got a, a base that you're, you're sure is safe. You just start plopping things everywhere. And it turns into a disaster. Way up. Some more of these, please? Nope. There. Yeah, if you're wondering how... I know there might be a few of you guys that never watched any of these things. So right now, you need this hammer. Okay, this hammer, will you pick up and put down things. Like the things that you've placed. So I put this down here. Right now, I want to pick it back up. I need the hammer to do it. Oh, you can't just use... Uh, it's not like Minecraft. You can just use a pick to pick up your furnace or something like that. Two, three, four. And before you think, wow, those blocks all look kind of boring. Well, do you just hang on a minute here. We finished building the frame of this building. Do, 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 do. Yes, I realize it's not quite logs. These are hewn logs. You make them at this table right here out of regular logs. Right there takes you two logs. Take one hewn log. And if you take the uh, the skill it's under carpenter. So if I took if I spent a star on hewing, which I'm not going to, right? Automatically, I get a 50% reduction in the amount that I need to use. So it'd be, it would be a one-to-one -one ratio. It would take half as much time. And then as I went along, I would get better, right? Decreases crafting time, reduces efficiency. So if I wanted to make, so by 80%. Yeah, you get some these weird things where you want to make, instead of having a one-to-one -one ratio, you would, to make five, it would cost you four logs. And the math gets really weird. It used to be even weirder what with, uh, uh, like, the last... Not the last way I played, but 
the first time I got to play with uh, Ginger and Skelly, what it would be like, you'd, you'd have uh, extra things that would increase the efficiency of tables in the room. Which is cool, because while you're around the game, you don't want to spend a whole lot of resources doing stuff. Now, you're thinking, Dub, this room looks boring, it's all going to be stacks of logs. Well, if I hold down the control button, this is everything I can make out of hewn logs. Ladders, which were just added, which everybody wanted, and that's amazing. Stairs. Windows. Kinda. It's kinda windows. So if I go like this. Right, uh, sure, there. That's a window. They align kind of weirdly until you put something next to them. So if I did this, right, I have windows. To make this place look slightly more interesting. Normally, normally at a first tier building, you just leave holes in the walls, and it counts them as windows. Because you don't normally have the materials you need to make stuff. But I have enough materials. I can kind of do this. I hit control again. Let's go to wall. So that's the wall. It's kind of the block. It looks like a... Um, let's place one. It's not very interesting from that side, but from the top, it looks like... Like plain logs, right? Get you back again. And then roofs are roofs are very expensive things to make. Like if I wanted, like you see how they kind of pile up and stack there? Yeah. So if I want another one here. You get that kind of roof. They're pretty. They are not very efficient. Like in order to put a steeple roof on this, I would need to use up a lot more blocks that I really don't have right now. Got columns. You want your place to. There's a like it's. It used to be you had to level up. In mm, how to phrase this. In the editions before 0 0.8 beta, talking with my hands again. You needed to put points into levels of whatever construction you were going to use, and it was kind of unfortunate because if, like, if you wanted to just make stairs. You had to spend a bunch of points on it, and a lot of people just didn't want to do that. Let's finish this building up here while I'm talking. That. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is why you go and commit a lot of tree murder early on. A lot of tree murder. It's also why you would have multiple people in a game, so... Someone can just go out and commit tree murder all day long. You are committed tree murderer. So if I go like that, there we are in a room, bottom corner, room volume 27, tier 1. I'm going to leave that open because I'm going to expand this building as I go here. I already realize it's not, it's not the most pretty thing you've ever seen. Okay? It's a hewn log cabin. Now I need in one of these, and all your, uh, you look into one storage thing, you cook in every storage thing in an area, which is kind of cool, because then you don't have to worry about flipping through chests to find stuff. It is, unfortunately, it's kind of troublesome when you have a lot of storage around you. Like most people want to, you think of this in terms of Minecraft, you'll just have walls of chests everywhere. Every time you gotta load that in, it your your computer kind of goes, "Oh, what are you doing to me?" Uh, let's go. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to have that door back there, am I? Because you fit in the room funny. Okay, one research table from which we are going to learn everything we ever needed. And because you can do this, is it? Things can see everywhere. I would like a. Butchery book, please. And then we can turn that storage off so it can't see that anymore. That way when it makes the thing, it's not going to put it in... It, there's no real priority as to where it, things get put in this game. Which I've never quite understood. I should have one more chest around here. Didn't I make a second one? Nope, I didn't. Alright, so that book is going to wind up stuck in this table. 
until it's done. However, we're also going to get a few other things out of the way. I would like... Oh, yeah, I saw that. You're right there. Crafting. I would like the basic engineering book, too, please. And then stop looking at that. What else do I need? Five spores. Five. I should have all of that. The early research is really easy to do, because... Just running around, doing your typical, uh, what's the word, uh, being a locust upon the land, will usually get you all the things you're looking for anyway. Let's put you down. This room is going to get so, wow, this room is cramped as hell. Okay, I would like you to see just this chest. Not that campfire, just that chest. And in about 50 minutes, I'll come back and get a bunch of books out of you. And just like that, you're on your way to learning how to do all the things. Uh, <laughs> and thankfully, like some of those books in... Oh, what did we play in? Point four or point six or something. There were books that, that took like six hours to research which you can get away with when you're on a multiplayer server that doesn't turn off. Single player, on the other hand, you're leaving your computer run for a long-ass time while you're at work. All right, we're going to let this go, and... The first thing we're getting is butchery, right? So I have to build a... I have to go commit a whole bunch more tree murder. I'll have to build a butcher shop. Not quite sure where I'm going to put it, though. Uh, I thought this would be a neat place to build, and now that I've been here for about a day and a half, this is not a good place to build. I may have made a mistake in my initial base placement. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to wander around, see if I can't find something slightly better, and then I will see you guys in the future.